welcome back to my channel and today we're going to talk about some healthy travel hacks along with some of the supplements i plan on taking to my next destination here i am leaving the gym about to go to the vitamin shop and get some supplements and i want you to listen to this right here women love shredded <laughs> you know what i'm saying like and this is what i've always been trying to tell people to get big is very simple and easy just eat a lot of food but to get shredded takes more discipline and it takes more than just eating a lot of food and that's something i try to do year round stay shredded that's my goal now let's jump into this video here are some things i bought and i just want to mention when you travel your routine changes minds change when i'm home i have a routine it's work gym come home to make my post-workout shake which consists of collagen protein and i throw in a lot of different types of frozen fruit and then I make my post-workout meal and I prepare my meals for the next day. That's my routine. When I change, that is when I'm abroad because I can't help it. Because I'm on the airplane, then once I land, sometimes I'm very tired. So my routine changes is what I'm trying to say. And one of the first supplements I recommend is a probiotic, which is what you're seeing right now. This particular brand has 70 billion CFU. CFU is just another fancy word for saying colony forming unit. So it has 70 billion organisms within this probiotic blend. I wouldn't worry about the number so much. Some you might find have 20 billion. Some you might have find up to 120 billion CFUs. Don't worry about the number. Just worry about trying to take some type of probiotic. Whether you take it separately or whether you take it within a multivitamin, try to get a probiotic within your regimen. And I'm going to tell you why. And the reason is, like I mentioned, I said that probiotics have organisms. Well, probiotics do have tiny microorganisms within the CFU that will help you when you travel abroad. And it can help you because it can squeeze out any type of bad bacteria that could cause you diarrhea, that can cause you some type of yeast infection or even possibly food poisoning. Now, I got food poisoning, I think, three times. Once in Thailand and Bangkok, once in Brazil in a city called Hesifi, and also when I was in Bali in Indonesia. I don't know what that was, but it was real bad. But at the time, I did not have any type of probiotics. So I do recommend this for men and women. What it will do is it will bind to that bad bacteria and you will just excrete it out. So this is very helpful when traveling. Something else that's in my bag, my travel bag, is some type of fish oil. This one right here is a wild caught super omega-3 type of fish oil. And it has 1,200 milligrams of omega-3. Now you have different omegas. You have omega-3, 6, and 9. 6 and 9, I'm pretty sure you already get from your regular diet from the oils that you cook with but omega-3 is something that is totally different and it's the most important and that's why it has the highest milligrams of 1200 and why is omega-3 important while traveling because it can help prevent any type of heart disease a stroke maybe you have a uh, lupus you know omega-3 also it gives your body energy and it has many functions in your heart blood vessels throughout your body, your lungs, and most important, your immune system. So it has different functions that's all important to your body. Therefore, I recommend taking some type of fish oil. Pay attention to how much omega-3s it has because that's the most important. And this you should get if you're a man or woman. It doesn't make a difference. I'm pretty sure you cannot eat the amount of fish to equal up to 1,200 milligrams of omega-3. It's totally impossible. Also, when you eat fish, I'm pretty sure that you're not getting the correct amount of omega-3s because you fry it. If you fry something, you destroy the property. So you're not really getting any omega-3. If anything, you're just getting different types of protein. We're not worrying about protein right here. We're worrying about omega-3. Also, you can get omega-3 from eating different types of plant algae, but I'm pretty sure you don't eat any. Something else that's in my regimen is vitamin D, and I supplement vitamin D with vitamin K together. Vitamin D is especially important for travelers because its role in strengthening your immune system. Like I mentioned, when you go outside of your country, outside of your comfort zone, outside of your routine, 
your immune system usually changes for the worst because you're not in your routine anymore. You're in a new environment, you're doing new things, and you're eating new things, and you're exposing yourself to new types of bad bacteria and just different things in general. So I do recommend vitamin D for any type of traveler. You know, it's good for your immune system, but also it's good for many other things as well. And I do recommend you combine your vitamin D with vitamin K. And you might be saying, well, I don't need vitamin D because I get enough from the sun. Well, the sun can be your enemy and it can be your best friend at the same time. If you stay out in the sun too much, what's going to happen is the sun is going to cause premature aging. And if you're brown skin like myself or darker, the sun can't penetrate your skin as much as someone that's fair skin. Therefore, for myself, I would need to be exposed to the sun for a longer amount of time. So supplementing with vitamin D will be much better and is much safer. Also, myself, I'm always in something, meaning that I'm always in my car. I'm in the gym. I'm inside the airport. I'm inside the airplane. So I'm not in the sun as much. Therefore, I do need to supplement with vitamin D. And like I said, combine it with vitamin K. Why? Because the two work together. What happens is the vitamin K ensure that the calcium that you get from your food is deposited in your bones and not your arteries. So you don't want hardened arteries. So to avoid that, vitamin K pulls that out from your arteries and put it into your bones. So if you're older... I would recommend that also that you take some type of vitamin D with vitamin K together because they work together. Next in my bag is magnesium. Now, there's different forms of magnesium. This form is magnesium orotate. There's also magnesium citrate. There's many forms, but I do know for certain if you take magnesium citrate, if you take too many milligrams, it will make you go to the bathroom instantly. So you have to be careful with magnesium citrate. But why I take magnesium is because when you're on a plane, it disrupts your digestive system and also the plane can dehydrate you. I know it dehydrates me, so I try to drink a lot of different types of water and juices to stay hydrated. Also, it leads to your body feeling tight. I do feel that sometimes, especially when I'm going to Asia because it's a long flight. So your magnesium levels lower. Also, with magnesium, it helps me sleep. So I take magnesium and I combine it with zinc and it forms ZMA, which is basically zinc, magnesium, and also a vitamin of B. And it just makes me go to sleep. So I always take some type of magnesium and another, another thing with magnesium that's also good is that it helps you draw water into your colon. What does that mean? That means that it will help you promote regular bowel movements. I just mentioned zinc. Why take zinc? Is because zinc is, again, another supporting immune system booster. That's what you want to boost when you're traveling abroad. You want to make sure that your immune system is at its peak, is at its highest And to do that, you have to take immune-boosting supplements. So that's why I recommend taking zinc. Now, this also has selenium. Selenium, I'm not too uh, concerned about my selenium levels. You know, you can get selenium very easily, especially for those who travel to Brazil or who are in Brazil. Because for Brazilian nuts is equal to the amount of selenium that you should intake per day. Some of these supplements you can get from actual foods, but what I'm saying is when you're traveling abroad, you want to make sure your immune system is boosted to its highest level. Therefore, you want to prepare before you actually get to that particular country. And some of these things I'm mentioning will help you. And also, while you actually arrive in that particular country, you want to still make sure that your immune system is still boosted to its highest. And also, you want to make sure when you're eating in that particular country that you're trying to eat some of the 
best foods that that country have and not westernized restaurants and foods. Now, it's all right to indulge every now and then, but you want to get a full effect of that country by eating the native foods of that country. Now, what you're seeing here is a multivitamin. Now, the thing about multivitamins is that it doesn't really have enough milligrams to get the full effect of the actual vitamin. And as you see, some of these doesn't even have milligrams. They have MCG, which is a microgram. So you're really not getting enough of the vitamin and mineral to get the full effect. But I just take it just in case. But I try to get as much of this from the actual foods once I visit that country. But as a backup, I just take a multivitamin just to make sure and this one is particular for men. There are also multivitamins for women. I really encourage you to take those type, meaning that you take a specific one for men and a specific one for women because they provide different types of minerals and vitamins that is good, for example, for men for like their prostate and things like that. So don't just get any type of multi-cheap vitamin. Get one that is in particular for men. Or one that is in particular for women. Now this is something I don't recommend. But it's something I'm taking to my next destination. And this is sea moss. Now I've tried sea moss before in the past. I did not like the taste. This form of sea moss is in a soft chew. So I'll let you know later how it tastes. But I'm pretty sure it's going to taste way better than the actual sea moss. And it's just something that I'm taking just to, again, help me boost my immune system because I do plan on being out the country for a while. So anything that can boost my immune system throughout my travels is always helpful. And what this provides also being CMOS is it provides minerals along with iodine. Iodine is very important because your body cannot make iodine. You get iodine from different types of salts, one of those being table salt, sea salt, pink Himalayan salt, black salt. It's very important because iodine helps you sweat. You know, once you sweat, what happens is you release toxins. So your body removes toxins and toxic material like fluoride, lead, mercury, anything that you may have taken that contained that with the help of iodine. Because some people are iodine deficient because they don't get enough iodine. This will help you sweat those toxins out. And also what I'm taking is on the go Metamucil. Basically what Metamucil is is selenium fiber, selenium husk that's grinded down very fine into a powder. And I do take when I'm home selenium husk but it's very different than that. It's just selenium husk by itself. That's it. And I combine it with my post-workout shake so I add it with hemp milk or almond milk or macadamia milk with like frozen fruit bananas strawberries blueberries just to add extra fiber because fiber is important for many different reasons a few is that again is good for keeping the gut healthy also it draws out the extra cholesterol out your bloodstream and you just defecate that extra cholesterol out because not all cholesterol is bad. Some cholesterol is good. But the extra cholesterol that some of us do eat, this will help you by taking that extra cholesterol out your blood system into your gut. And then eventually you will excrete it out. So fiber is always good. And you can get fiber from different types of foods, from vegetables and different types of fruits. But some of us do not eat a lot of fruits or vegetables, so fiber is very important. So I'll just add this to a little bit of water and drink it, and the taste is orange flavor, and it's very light. You cannot really taste a like sweet taste of orange, and there's no aftertaste, so you don't have to worry about that. So that's something that I'm taking. I wouldn't say that it's essential. I would say that fiber is essential, but taking this supplement right here is not. But I'm just taking it again just for backup. And that's all. My next video will be in a new country, so stay tuned.